Hello viewers, in my previous video on decimals, I have explained different types of decimals. I have explained how to add and subtract decimals. In this session, I am going to explain how to multiply and divide decimals. Suppose we want to multiply 2.5 by 10. We can write here 2.5 into 10. Here 0, 5 1 ja 5, 2 1 ja 2. And here after decimal 1 place. So here also after decimal there will be 1 place. So 2.5 when multiplied by 10, it will give 25. So when we multiply a decimal number by 10, decimal shifts 1 place in the right hand side. Now suppose 2.557, if I multiply by 10, it will become 25.57. Because here I am multiplying by 10, decimal will shift 1 place. Suppose it is 2.557 and I am multiplying by 100. Since there are two zeros, decimal will shift two places in the right. So it will become 255.7. If I multiply 2.557 by 1000, it will become 2557. Decimal will shift three places. One. 2, 3, so decimal will come here. So we can write 2557.00. Point zero zero. Multiply 2.5 by 5. Now when we multiply 2.5 by 5, we can do it like this. 25 into 5. Now initially, we are not considering the decimal. We are just writing 25 and 5. 5, 5, ja, 25, 2. 5, 2, ja, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. Now here after decimal, one place. So here also after decimal, it will be one place. So it will be 12.5. So we can write 2.5 when multiplied by 5, it will become 12.5. Suppose I have taken one number 2.89 and we want to multiply it by 2.5. Here also just write 2.89 multiply by 2.5. Now Forget about the decimals, just normal multiplication. 5 9 ja 45, carry 4, 5 8 ja 40, plus 4, 44, carry 4, 5 2 ja 10, 10 plus 4, 14, into 9 2 ja 18, carry 1, 8 2 ja 16 plus 1, 17, carry 1, 2 2 ja 4 plus 1, 5. So it will be 5, 8 plus 4, 12, carry 1, 7 plus 4, 11, plus 1, 12, carry 1, 5 plus 1, 6, plus 1, 7. So we got 7, 2, 2, 5. But here, after decimal, there are two places, and here, after decimal, one place. So altogether, 1, 2, 3. Since after decimal, there are three places, here also, after decimal, there will be three places. So 1, 2, 3, decimal will be placed here. So answer is 7.225. Suppose you want to multiply 0 0.21 with 0 0.20. Just like previous sum, consider 0 0.21 and 0 0.20. Initially, don't consider these decimals. Just normal multiplication. 0 here, 2 1 ja 2, 2 2 ja 4. So, after multiplying 21 by 20, we got 4 2 0. Now, after decimal, there are two places here. Here also two places. So altogether, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four places. So from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So here it will be 1, 0. And decimal will be placed here. So it will be point zero four two zero. Generally, we write 1, 0 here. So answer is 0 0.0420. Suppose you want to multiply 225 by 0 0.001. Here, manually, we can multiply 225 into 1 is 2, 2, 5. Now here, decimal is after 5. So here, no need to consider decimal. But here, after decimal, there are 3 places. So here, from here, we have to start 1, 2, 3. Decimal will be here. So answer will be 0 0.225. I hope how to multiply decimals. This part is now clear. Now I am going to show you how to divide decimals. Suppose I want to divide 2.5 by 10. This can be done in different ways. One easiest trick is 2.5 can be written as 25 by 10 divided by 10. 
which can be written as 25 by 10 into 1 by 10. Whenever we write multiplication instead of division, then we have to take the reciprocal of this. So instead of 10, I can write 1 by 10. It will be 25 divided by 100. And 25 divided by 100, it will give 0 0.25. Because there are two zeros, so after decimal there will be two places, so it will be 0 0.25. Now the same division can be done in another way. We want to divide 2.5 by 10. Now 10 0 ja 0, 10 1 ja 10, it will be more. 10 0 ja 0, so 10 0 ja 0, 2 minus 0 2, and from here I have taken 5. Since we got decimal, so we will place decimal here. Now 10 to the 20, 5 minus 0, 5. Since decimal is there, we can take 1 0 here. 5, 10 to 50. So in this case also we got 0 0.25. So in both the cases we have seen that when you are dividing by 10, decimal shifts one place in the left hand side. So 0 0.25 when divided by 10, it will give 0 0.025 that means decimal will shift one place in the left hand side if it is 7 2.95 if we divide by 100 since we are dividing by 100 decimal will shift two places in the left so it will become 0 0.7295 if we take another number say 7. 892 and we are dividing by 1000 since we are dividing by 1000 decimal will shift three places in the left so it will be 0 0.007892 so when we divide any decimal by 10 or 100 or 1000 then we have to shift the decimal in the left hand side if you are dividing by 10 it will shift one place dividing by 100 two places Dividing by 1000, it will shift 3 places. Suppose we want to divide 22.5 by 1.5. This sum can be done like this. 225 by 10. Because after decimal 1 place, so I have to write divided by 10. Divided by 1.5 also can be written as 15 by 10. After decimal 1 place, so I have to write 10 here. Now it can be written as 225 by 10 into 10 by 15. This 10 and this 10 will cancel. So I left with 225 by 15. 225 by 15. Now 15, 15 to 225. So answer will be 15. The same sum we can do like this. In both the cases after decimal 1 place. So we can multiply both by 10. And if I multiply both by 10. Then I am going to get 225 divided by 15. 15, 15, yeah, 225, so answer is 15. To divide 13.31 by 1.1. Here, after decimal, there are two places, and here, after decimal, only one place. Since there are two places, this is maximum, so you have to multiply both by 100. If we multiply by 100, it will become 13.31 by 110. Because this decimal will shift two places, since we are multiplying by 100, it will shift two places. Here also it will shift two places. It will be 1331 by 110. Now we can divide 1331 by 110. 110, 1 ja, 110. 3 minus 0, 3. 3 minus 1, 2. It will be 231. Again, to 110, 2 ja, 220. So we are left with 1, 1. Now we have to bring one decimal. Then we can bring one zero here. One ja, one one zero, one ja, one one zero. So answer is 12.1. 12.1 is the required answer. 8.4 by 20. In this type of division, here also decimal is involved. So what we will do? We will try to make the denominator 100. 20 when multiplied by 5, it will become 100. 8.4 just multiply by 5. And 20 also just multiply by 5. Why we have multiplied by 5? So that we can make the denominator 10 or 100 or 1000 and so on. So here 4, 5, ja, 20, 0, carry 2. 5, ja, 40, plus 2, 42. 
after decimal 1 place it will be 42 5 into 20 it will give 100 since we are dividing by 100 decimal will shift two places in the left hand side so it will become 0 0.42 suppose we want to divide 0 0.18 by 50 here also we are going to apply the same technique 0 0.18 by 50 first what we will do we will try to make the denominator 10 or 100 here we can convert it to 100 by multiplying by 2 18 to the 36 after decimal there are two places so here also after decimal two places it will be 0 0.36 15 to 200 now since we are dividing by 100 decimal will shift two places in the left so it will be 0 0.0036 i hope how to multiply and divide decimals these things are now clear in case of any confusion you can write in the comment box I will try my level best to clear your doubts and in the next video I am going to show some practical applications based on decimals. Thank you for watching.